Hey y'all, good morning, good afternoon from wherever you're tuning in from. Welcome to this latest installment using Model Builder with InfoWorks. So we're going to break this up into a couple different parts, but starting with Model Builder, create a model, then we're going to bring some data in and using InfoWorks and then ultimately building proposals and bringing in TIFF, point cloud data and how, enhancing that Model Builder. So from the beginning here, let's go ahead and let's create a model with Model Builder and InfoWorks. All right, so jumping into InfoWorks here. And InfoWorks 2023, but this is going to be consistent across multiple versions of InfoWorks. Keep in mind with InfoWorks, it is a file rewrite when you open files up so they're not backwards compatible. So 2023 to 2022, can't open it in 22 if it's already seen 23. With this instance, I'm just going to be working in 2023, creating a model with Model Builder. So Model Builder right here. And we go ahead and crack this open. And this takes us to a nice map of the, of the world. And so just one thing we can do right off the bat is we can just search an address. So for example, I live in Milwaukee, Oregon, and you can punch in an exact address, and, but I'm not gonna do it. I don't want you knocking on my door, but if we grab Milwaukee, Oregon, we can see it takes us to the town of Milwaukee, Oregon. And then we can create a model from that. And we can zoom in and say we wanted to grab you know, downtown Milwaukee area. We could create a model of this waterfront park. And we just go ahead and grab this here and we can see this is our satellite view. And a couple different ways you can do it. We can do a current map extends. We could draw a rectangle just like this and create a model from that. In this instance, we're going to create a model of a pit in southern Washington. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to just close out all of this here. And I'm going to zoom way out. And we're going to go over up in here into this town called Battleground, Washington. And if I zoom in here, and let's see, where is Battleground? Oh, there we go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a model of this pit right here. And so this is just, just some aerial imagery. And this is the pit that I've surveyed with a drone. We've used some, uh, some geolocation devices to get some GCPs of this. But this is the data we're going to grab right here. So we just go ahead and grab. And then we go ahead and give our model a name. So this is our area. This is called this uh description you don't need to give it one and then coordinate system this is important so any data that comes in that is part of a coordinate system this is where you set it so you can't go back and set a coordinate system and if it works it has to be set on model creation so that's a very important step so go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and grab washington 83 uh south foot say okay and then notice here once you create this model the coordinate system cannot be changed so know the coordinate system before creating it and then we go ahead and we say create model and just for time's sakes i'm just going to skip this step and we're just going to crack open a model i just created so we'll go ahead and just closing this here you go ahead and create a model it goes up to the cloud and that model's been is created for you it takes 15 minutes depending on model size and then a model's kicked back to you, you get an email your infoworks model is ready and now you have the option to open it so this is the pit i just created right here and notice that has that green circle. That means it's a model builder model. What that means is we haven't told it where is this model going to live. Is it going to live on a cloud location or is it going to live local? You can see here I have a couple other models in my recent. This cloud means that it lives on Autodesk Docs. It, the model lives up there. Multiple people can access it. Multiple people can work with it. And if we go ahead and grab down here this little screen right here, this means it's a local model. It lives on my machine. Can't collaborate with it with anyone else unless you were to... Uh, pick that model up off your machine and give it to someone else. All right, let's go ahead and crack pit 1028, 2022. We're going to go crack this open. We're going to take it for a drive to see how it feels. So one thing it's going to ask me is where do you want to put this model? So do you want to put it local or do you want to put it on Autodesk Docs? And for right now, we're just going to throw it on my local machine. So right here, local. And now it's going to open this model. It's going to download it. So it's going to download the data it just created and put that on my local machine and we're chugging along here 42 percent and this will open up that model of that region we just get selected with that window select all right opening this model up checking the model Running some, running some tests on the back end. That first time you open it always takes a little bit longer than if you go back and you know, open it, open it after, you know, say you had working in it yesterday or something like that. All right, opening up this model. Here we go. All right. So notice model, 
Pittsburgh's 2023, up in the top left, and Pitt, and then the date of that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, it's kind of like object viewer a little bit in Civil 3D if you're a civil user. So just grabbing that left click, we can orbit, and let's just let's just take a look at what we created here. And so we can see we have the that pit that we were go to a top down view, and then this is that pit that we we grabbed, and we can see we have this main road right here. We got this road going into our pit, and then we have some there's some other data. So you can see it does a pretty good job. It grabs some contours. It does a pretty good job with some data. You can see in some areas it's you know it might be you know ballpark in terms of elevation accuracy you know we could be five feet off or something like that but a really great way to create a model quickly with public data that can be used and then you create your model and then you're off and running so now we can bring in more data if we want to enhance it we're gonna we can enhance it with that, some aerial imagery if we wanted to but it really just gives us a nice baseline for where to start and looking into our next video here we're gonna bring in some data so we're gonna bring in a tiff file and a point cloud and enhance that um, that surface data and that aerial imagery. So thanks for tuning in and hopefully this was helpful with your InfoWorks model creation.